Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe. It was Easter Sunday yesterday, wow. and we got to see the royal family do their annual little the walk. The theme was the blue. Yes. Well, I think it was blue for Catherine and Princess Charlotte last year too. Yeah. It's kind of like an Easter blueish theme. I love the fact that Beatrice and her husband were walking with kind of like the cool kids of the royal family. Anne was with Andrew. Yeah. I thought that was like really nice because personally, I think the queen would have wanted it that way. And I know people are like, why was Andrew walking with Anne? Well, first of all, that's her brother. Okay, this is a holiday. It's the queen's favorite. And and the queen would have wanted it that way. And she showed us when she did the Thanksgiving to Prince Philip, when she had Andrew walk her down the aisle for the last time, she had her son Andrew do it. And everyone was like, I can't believe that. Well, you know what? She's the queen and that's her son. I feel like they were following some sort of uh, guideline to what the queen uh requested well the best part away. the best part was when you saw the end and it was uh eugenie and jack and now that i know all this stuff about jack and how shady he is i'm glad they were in there the back there was clearly a disconnect from them and the rest of the family yeah, it like, was awesome it was bizarre yeah. i remember watching i mean there was like a uh 12 foot gap between, between yeah, them. Yeah. I mean, they were walking behind them. It was great. Literally. And Princess Beatrice was there with everybody. And I thought that was so great. And I like the fact that um, Prince William and Princess Catherine and the kids didn't walk in together. They sort of walked out separately. It's just It was just so cute how Charlotte had her blue tights on like she had last year. She was so well behaved. I did not love Sophie's hat. I thought they all looked great. I think the real star adult of the Easter walk was Zara. She looked great. That pink ensemble that she had was fantastic. There's rumblings that she might be pregnant. That would be really cute. There's just rumblings. Okay, I don't think so. I can. I think well, she. You can had... have your opinion. Other no, I have know. Their I. I don't think so. I just can't see them having a. a I could see child. him coming back from that that TV show he did. <laughs> yeah. What was that TV show he did? It was. I'm a celebrity. Right. I could see him coming back from that, and she was yeah. like, "Let's hang out." And know? it was so cute because when Mike left the church, he was walking, and everyone was so quiet, and he goes, "You're all so quiet," and then that kind of like broke the ice, and everyone they started, started to laugh and, and laugh. clapping. It was like super cute so i and love my Catherine wore red nail polish yes so now see i i thought that was not well i well megan queen, said that megan said on the netflix show that that any type of uh color nail polish was frowned upon by the institution and um <laughs> you had to wear like you had to wear just nude yeah. now i'm a nude person i just like nude nails i yeah. like clean nude whatever yeah now when i saw her nails i gotta tell you nancy i was a little like taken back because it was like wow she's really sticking it to megan yeah i thought that was really cool i thought the fact that she did that was a dig at megan totally because she has worn um not red nail polish not in the past lot. she's worn it to uh night events but she's never worn it to a day event especially a holiday event with the family and everyone's going she oh has... yeah who cares it's just nail polish yeah. well you know what if you follow the royal family like yeah. we have uh it's a big deal because you never saw the queen wearing any nail polish you never saw Anne yeah. wearing nail polish you never saw well they wear princess... nail polish just a certain color uh, princess diana never wore nail polish yeah, she did right. too she wore dark she wore yeah she wore dark before red before after the divorce it was before the divorce. She wore red. I do. I saw I pictures. I, I did see, see pictures. Yeah. I just don't. In my head, I just don't see you it. You don't see it because they didn't wear it at like Easter functions. But at night, they would wear yeah, it. Yeah, I just don't like, remember. Princess Catherine once wore it. Um, her, she showed her toes at a uh, night. I don't know if it was for the BAFTAs or what. And she had red toes. And I was like, oh my. Yeah, but that so was for can... a nighttime thing. Right. I'd never seen it Easter. I thought that was pretty cool. I just don't remember the, her hand. Like the, yeah. But the, the real manicure. star of the show, I think the real star of the show. I mean, I thought Zara was, was wonderful. I loved Lena and Mia's outfits. Oh, so I thought uh, Mia's outfit was very was, well behaved too. 
The star of the show obviously is our little Prince Louis. He look, he made this cute little face at the beginning when he was walking by like He's so cute. He looked at the crowd like I have to be good but I want to be bad yeah, so yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well like I picked yeah. up on that too. But he's such a cute kid. He's and they're so all cute. they're all well behaved. He's going to do so well. well. He's going to do so well at the coronation. I'm so excited about that. So Easter was a triumph we didn't hear anything about megan and harry thank goodness they didn't release a picture or anything thank you they're finally hallelujah i did though on twitter yesterday put out a video yeah see i don't write of, of the netflix documentary this is how tuned out i was when i was actually watching the netflix documentary i don't even remember that scene a lot of people don't yeah it's so an Easter scene. it was like this cringe i think um planned scene because yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait a second whoa, whoa, wait you're telling me that megan obviously was planned. eight and a half months pregnant her hair was perfectly in place her makeup was perfect yeah doria looked perfect well, they were mic'd they were mic'd you could you see the really, mic in her me, belly you're you telling see me the that mic go down this was pre-planned <laughs> This was all fake? So the scene was super cringe from the beginning because you see Harry completely emasculated as he's cutting up the Easter stuff. So it and looks she like she walks in like a robot. She, hey, honey, she what walks do you do? in like she told him to do that. Hey, and, and, babe. and it's like an hour later. And what does Harry say when he sees Doria? He says, Hey grandma. Hey grandma. That made me want to puke. That that literally made me want to puke. But Nancy, I wonder if it was it made me scripted. want to puke. The weird thing is, Doria didn't say a word in that entire scene. Oh yeah, scene. That's, she was very robotic. She was acting like she was on drugs or drunk or something. Like she had just smoked a doobie or something with Megan in the back. Because so Megan walks in and she's got this super tight black t-shirt. She has no weight in her arms, not in her face. Um, she's got a little puffiness in her face, but we already talked about that. Is the fillers and the Botox? We know she does Botox because of the the two lines veins in her forehead, and and I'm sure she got lip fillers when she was uh, pregnant. And um, you can also belly. see the big belly, and then you can see through the black top the mic wire coming down, which I think was odd. <laughs> That was very odd because why would you put it on your pregnant belly like that? And why would you want something electrical that but close see, to your pregnant, your see, baby? I know, but I'm still, Nancy has a theory and I have a theory. I'm not sold it's on not the a idea. Theory. I'm not sold on the idea that she wasn't really pregnant. This is the part where we start saying allegedly in the video. That's what I'm saying. Okay, go. Uh, just, it makes the world go around to have two separate opinions. You can't That's just fine. go, <gasps> she wasn't I don't have pregnant. a theory anymore. I allegedly no allegedly allegedly she was not pregnant i just think i still don't have enough proof <laughs> i don't know i still don't have enough so, proof but the, but the scene can, was so cringy. can i get to the proof stephanie can i give you well, a I little you're bit talking of proof? about how cringy and robotic the scene oh no was. no the scene was so cringy and robotic and and at the end he keeps saying no 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 he said no 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 she is telling him what to do megan's telling harry what to do as far as the easter stuff because we at this point as an audience member they want us to think that harry was never uh, in an actual family environment where he okay. can hide the Easter eggs to do this. <laughs> so he, go, and then at one point she says something and he goes, well, that's why I have a wife. Yeah. And then she looks over at him and she, she goes, see, even if they're scripted, they can't even hide their contempt for each other. Yeah. She, she looks over and goes, oh, that's the only, that's the only reason. That's, that's a the lie. only reason. And then he goes out of the door and they're, they start planting the, the, or hiding the Easter eggs, yeah. but he starts off by going, come on, family. Like, it's so, so cringe. scripted. It's cringe. It is so scripted and planned out. Even when they're talking about, well, let's start at the br our one bridge to the other bridge, they're also making it look like they are just, like, so privileged because they've got not one, but two bridges in their uh, beautiful Santa why don't, Barbara Why don't home. we connect it to the to Archie's pony and then we'll... we'll uh, Do it all the way over to we'll Lily's We'll connect pony. it back onto Lily's and then yeah. I'll ride in on my horse and yeah. we'll jump over the bridge. <laughs> the and it's bridge. like, I mean, it's just... But then it's like this feeling of <laughs> Harry finally has a, a down-to-earth oh, family, guys. It's like, come on, family. And here's Doria walking. Dory is there for the day to, to get her check. You get paid every single time. It's sort of like the housewives, how they get paid yeah. per scene. Per yeah. scene, that's how it is. Even when you see uh, uh, people on uh, a Saturday Night Live and they do a guest appearance, 
they get paid like Alec Baldwin each time he did Trump they get paid four thousand dollars for an appearance you don't not get paid for appearances yeah, it just doesn't work like that paid. Scott Disick complained at first the reason why you didn't see Courtney and Scott Disick's yeah. kids on the Kardashians at first was because he had to make a deal with uh Chris e. Jenner and E residuals. to have the kids get residuals and, and get a paid. daily daily and the dailies e. and he was like these are half my kids too you're not getting uh half of them I'm not if, gonna sign them over if, if we don't we, if we don't get a fee for them and so, Kanye's getting a stipend as well uh, yeah so. it's all a stipend and it's just the way uh sag after works and blah 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 so she's getting paid for that day getting to the uh hiding of the easter eggs and this is where allegedly i have proof that megan was not allegedly pregnant she bends over with the greatest of ease the greatest of ease with little effort i can't even bend over that well yeah what's that all about she barely bends her knees yeah okay so again i've never seen a pregnant woman maneuver yeah down to the ground that way in i've never i've never seen a, a woman without stretching do it well maybe I, I guess she's in the yoga okay so she's in the yoga she can play the yoga card that's fine i then went and i looked up guys i did so much research last night because i want to be proven wrong at this point because i am looking for some sort of proof that a woman who is eight months pregnant can do this that she can do these squat positions, that she can keep her knees together. I'm looking for all that. I find this woman who's a yoga instructor on YouTube after I found a million others, but she's explaining how you can safely bend over if you need to, need to. She says, don't do it See, if you don't have to, but she says- Gloria was there. Yeah. Why didn't she hide the if you need Why to, If you need to bend down, so you have to grab a chair not only do you have to grab a chair mm -hmm. you have to lift up one leg now this is a yoga instructor you have to lift up one leg a little bit because the bump has to go somewhere mm -hmm. you just can't bend okay. over the reason for this is your center of gravity is so off when pregnant especially in the third trimester that you can literally topple over you can literally topple over okay. and hurt the baby You're very passionate about i'm this. passionate about it because you would think it's like a chloe kardashian thing and i swear to god guys i am going to make this video for you because this is how we're going to prove that megan was allegedly faking because chloe did exactly what she did uh, you would think that megan would just do some research on how to dog just brought this oh that's cute that's good girl cute. lady cool. you would think that megan would do some research on how to properly do any of this and make it look like you're pregnant. She didn't do, allegedly, she didn't do any of it. So then I think back, Stephanie and I, our mom got us into I Love Lucy when we were younger and we still watch the reruns. It's like one of our favorite shows. Well, I think everybody does yeah. that. Yeah, Lucille Ball was really pregnant in real life when she, her character was pregnant on the show. And there was this scene where Lucy told Ricky, I, I, you know, I can't pick up anything, so I gotta be really careful on how things fall or whatever. So she dropped something. And oh, that's so funny. She dropped you something. You just said drop something. I said drop something. Dog dropped and, and, something on the floor. And Lady dropped her bone. That is Very so good, funny. Very good, Lady. She's smart. Good girl, Lady. Lucy, obviously something falls on the ground and she can, she, she's trying to pick it up, but she can't. Now, now keep in mind, she's pregnant in real life. And so she's like, grabs a chair and she's bending over and the whole thing goes on for like a couple minutes and then finally she like bends her knees and she like moves down to the ground and then she she does and it takes and all it's not her strength this position it it's takes, gotta be bad it takes all her strength to do it and she's exhausted at the end of the scene and you can see in, like the woman is exhausted in in the real scene. i've seen women who are pregnant what megan was eight and a half months pregnant whatever she was eight months pregnant whatever eight, supposedly does it matter yeah, eight, eight and a half um eight Alleg months pregnant allegedly it, it's hard for women to get into a car like yeah. it is a struggle man i mean i and this is just for i just could just from friends who have been pregnant i'm trying to put some friends in the car yeah. sometimes. So I'm saying allegedly, but if there's, if YouTube 
you you know if you want to come after me on this video can you please show me any women who are eight months pregnant that can do any of the stuff that Meghan Markle can do allegedly with this baby bump so anyway again I'm not sold on so on then 100%. you see as she's bending over then you see her feet and her skinny legs mm -hmm. and her ankles and there's no swelling whatsoever I also went online and I went, again, I gave her benefit of the doubt because not all women are the same, okay? But yoga instructors, even they have the swelling. Even they have the swelling. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't find one woman that is this, this modern marvel like Megan. Why well, would she wear those tight, those tight cut off it's jeans? It's definitely a red flag. Okay, is it, well, I mean, because Nancy and I felt this way about Courtney or Khloe Kardashian. Allegedly. Allegedly, Khloe, uh, at eight and a half months pregnant, you don't fly to Japan. Yeah. From Los Angeles. Well, and then at eight and a half months pregnant, this is your first pregnancy, yeah. you do not fly to Japan. And let me tell you another thing about Japan. It's an interesting thing, and this is It's not even about Japan. Yeah. Don't fly to Australia. Don't go anywhere. Don't fly to New York at eight and a half but months pregnant. Japan, I don't know about you guys out there, but when, when I go to like Lake Tahoe for vacation, or even our home in Henderson. The um, elevation. The elevation affects me, and I my fingers balloon up. I can't wear, well, I don't wear rings now, but um, when I was married, I could. I would always have to like take my wedding ring off. And um, I, ju I, ju I just would I did, I did that with or without the elevation. I know. Well, eventually I took it off for real. <laughs> so the elevation, I, I was always affected. And women are affected more by the elevation. And we just kind of like balloon up a little bit. I checked the elevation in um, Japan. It is like super high compared yeah. to Los Angeles. And here's Chloe walking around. Yeah. So we're going to do a video on how Chloe Kardashian allegedly faked her pregnancy with her daughter, True. And uh, I have a lot of concrete alleged proof on that. I have. That I, I think will be good for us to sort of allegedly, do it. Allegedly, though. Allegedly. I think it'll be good for us to tie to Megan. I think it'll be a good guide. Like a good, um, what do you call those, cliff notes. Well, Megan's following the Kardashian plan to a T. Yeah, I mean, oh she really is. God. She really is. So that video really got me. And, and you know, obviously when we were first watching it in the Netflix, you know, we were, you know, drinking uncontrollably because we were so it upset. And so then we were screaming bad. at the TV. But, but I, I really I checked out, emotionally checked out of it. Yeah, take a picture of her and then I'll put it up on the, okay. so our viewers can see it. You guys Just gotta be see really, this picture. But really, really, be really careful you about it. You guys gotta see this. She wants to so on my bad lap. to sit on Stephanie's lap. <laughs> So today's dog rescue is Linda Paw. We have featured them before, but they've been doing some awesome work lately uh, with some shelters across the country that are high kill shelters. So I'm going to put the description. Show Lewis. Oh yeah, there's Lewis. I'm going to put Linda Paw's website in the description below, like I always do. And then if you guys can share the, the site, you don't have to give to them. Just share the site. That would be great. Um, anything helps. So I really appreciate it. And we'll get on making that Khloe Kardashian video, please, as soon as possible. Yeah, I thought we were making the Jonathan Chebin thing too. Okay, but would you rather have us do Jonathan Chebin first or the Khloe Kardashian one? They're the same. It's the Kardashians. I know, but which one? Would you rather have us do? Jonathan or... Chebin called me fat and okay, ugly. I understand that, but who, what would you guys rather have us do? Me explain myself. I think what we need. My I honor. think another thing you defend need to defend my honor. You need to you need to take your books that are in your storage no, and I put them know. on the shelf. I don't shelf. know if I'm going to keep those. I might put. Um, I might make. Uh, you know, like those. They She's have... been decorating no, her no, house no, no. for a year no, now. But you know what I might do? I might take the bookshelves off, and then I might make uh, window seats. So then it all ties into the seating Okay, area. well, you better call Larry. Yeah. We wish you guys the best. And let me know in the comments if you want us to do Chloe or Jonathan Chebin first. I say we do Chloe's alleged fake well, see that you're, you're, in, you're making them. <laughs> hey, man, if they want to see yeah, them. but it's yeah. just so funny. It's like, uh, uh, well, just. Okay. Guys, we want you to know. <laughs> but I just want to let you know we're going to do Chloe. It's I just like, know them better than you. Yeah, obviously. I know them way better than okay, you. Okay, Nancy. I know you way better than them, so let's figure that one out. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, thanks for joining us, and we hope you had a happy Easter, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.